Good morning students. Today let us know about the Sparrow campaign. Students, what is this campaign? This is the war against sparrows which occurred in China in the year 1958 and that led to the great Chinese famine. Due to this famine, millions of people suffered hunger and crores of people died. Now students, let us dwell into the details of this Sparrow campaign. Students, around the year 1958, the Chinese government had introduced a new way of farming called cooperative farming to increase the country's agricultural output and to stand competent with the developed countries like America and Russia. Got it students? Now, what is this cooperative farming? In this type of farming, usually the farmers are divided into groups. Here in this case, each group contained 5,000 families and they have to do group farming. So, farmers and 5,000, 5,000 families divide chesi group farming. So, that is what is called as cooperative farming. Now, this group farming was successful in the first year and resulted in double agricultural output. So, first year agricultural output double in the. In the next year, due to bad weather, the output again got decreased. Second year I mean, bad weather valla, not because of cooperative farming. Due to bad weather, agricultural output and malli padipoindi. In spite of all these situations, the rural agricultural officers they continued to spread rumors about increased output. What they did is agricultural officers they bluffed the government. They said the government that this uh, output is still increasing. Yeah, official changes are ante. While government the uh, the agricultural output to chala bagundi it is going fine ani chepe saru. That is to not miss out their own quotas. Wild kuchche laba lala ko pota yani buy padi. Wild inche sir government ki agricultural output chala bagundi year kora ani chepe saru. And this led to imbalance between demand and supply. Then the government inquired the rural officials about this imbalance. To escape from the punishment, the rural officials thrown the blame on sparrows. They told that the sparrows had eaten away the produce, the grain from the warehouses and that is the reason for the decrease in agricultural output. After hearing this, the Chinese government had ordered for anti-sparrow campaign to kill all the sparrows of the country. They had even declared holidays for the employees and the school children to kill the sparrows. So following that order, the people of the China, they formed as a rally and started roaming on the roads for killing sparrows. They had actually killed sparrows very brutally. Many of them, they shot the sparrows at the site. Some had torn out the nests of sparrows and killed the nestlings. Some had broken the eggs. Some started beating drums to scare the sparrows so that the sparrows fly continuously in the air and die out of fatigue. Got it? So, yala in the brutal ka champi saru ante sparrows ni drums beat chedum valla yemo tundante sparrows bai padi pain ne tirugutu 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 alisi poe padi poe chani poe et van mata. Even eggs ni break chese se valu, nest nanta goda baga virche se valu, then chinna chinna sparrow pillal ne goda chala brutal ka champi saran mata. Got it? For this brutal killing, the government had even awarded the people with non material gifts. So, such a cruel campaign it was. And this campaign finally led to further decrease in agricultural output and this led to the great Chinese famine. People started suffering hunger after this campaign. Then the government ordered scientists to find out the reason for the famine. Scientists had then dissected the sparrows and found that two-thirds of their stomach is filled with the pest called locus and only one-third is with grain. So scientists say just now that sparrows ni dissect chesi but stomach lo choose na pundu two-thirds of the stomach kochi locus and insects onai only one-third matra me grain to ondan mata. So from that they have concluded the scientists have concluded that sparrows are the predators for the pests of the crops. So our crops and the poor and the car, 
pests called locusts or locusts ki predator ivarante sparrows so because we have killed the predator of the pests the pest population got increased and that is the reason why there is substantial loss in the agricultural output and this report was given to the government and it is already too late for the government to take any other decision so what they did is they have imported the sparrows from russia got it students by then uh, it is already late and so millions of people they suffered hunger and crores of people they died and many millions they turned from agriculture to industry and left the china it was also told that many people had eaten mud and died due to the choking of digestive system even some people had eaten the fellow human beings out of hunger so severe the great chinese famine was so from this we can understand if we disturb the environment that will lead to the end of ourself got it students manam environment ne disturb chesthe environment man chetha matti tinipistundi so students be aware of that and protect all the organisms in the environment environment has given gifted us many fellow organisms so we it is our duty to protect them got it students now students there are few in text questions which are important for the examination purpose so for these questions i have given answers in the blue color text down please just check the answers and the questions for the exam got it students i hope you understood thank you